Hey guys, it's Eric here and this is my unboxing and review of the Huawei Y6 Prime 2019, a successor to the Y6 Prime 2018 from last year. Now, Jumia Mobile Week is starting today and you can pick up one of these at a discount, more on this later in this video. When you open it up, you're greeted with the device wrapped in plastic. You can see some highlighted features here. Let's go ahead and take out that sticker on the back and on the front. The color is amber brown. It also comes in sapphire blue and midnight black. Let's power it on while we see what else is in the box. We have an envelope that houses the SIM ejector tool, a quick start guide, and a film screen protector. On the bottom compartment, you have a one amp charger, a micro USB cable, there is no earphone here so I guess that's it. On the front, you have a 6.09 inch HD plus IPS LCD display with 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio. On top of that display, you have a dew drop notch that houses an 8 megapixel camera with flash. You also get a speaker and tiny notification LED. On the back, you have a single 13 megapixel camera with flash, a fingerprint sensor, and some Huawei branding. On the left, you have a SIM tray that houses two 4G LTE SIMs and an SD card. On the right, you have a power button and volume rocker keys. On the top, you have a 3.5mm headphone jack and a noise cancellation microphone. On the bottom, you have a speaker and micro USB port. The Y6 Prime 2019 is made from a polycarbonate material just like its elder brother, the Y7 Prime 2019. But on the amber brown color, you get a full leather grippy textured back. It looks and feels very realistic. The frame is a different shade of brown and the bronze highlights around the camera and fingerprint sensor make it look very unique and some might even say premium. The display is not the brightest but the colors are definitely way more vivid than the Y5 Prime that I reviewed. You have your average chin with the Huawei branding on it. The screen is bigger than the Y5 but smaller than the Y7 Prime's display cause it is a smaller phone and easier to operate in one hand. In the settings, we see that it runs on Android 9 Pie and Emotion UI 9.0.1 this comes in 32 gigs of storage and 2 gigs of RAM with about 26 gigs available. You get display settings like blue light filter, aka eye care, and customizable color temperature to set to however cool or warm you prefer. You get 3 fonts to choose from and a bunch of themes. There's an option to use gesture navigation. You can customize the position of your back and recent button as well. In terms of performance, the Helio A22 CPU clocked at 2.0 GHz is one that is actually powerful enough to handle your everyday social media apps way better than the average low-end chip like say the Snapdragon 425. You can do a bit of multitasking and while not the smoothest when it comes to switching between apps, it should suffice for the average user who is a student or young executive. The fingerprint sensor is accurate with an OK speed. The less secure face unlock is fast too. Less secure, yeah, but just as fast as reading and unlocking your phone. When it comes to gaming, as usual, I played PUBG on default settings as you can see here and it ran fairly well with the occasional jitters that I've come to expect from even slightly more powerful mid-range phones. So not an issue, it is very playable and some might even say enjoyable. About battery life, there's a 3020 mAh battery on this guy and it is pretty small by today's standards but the good thing is that I got through a full day of use with about 6% left to spare. This gave me about 7.5 hours of screen on time. So in spite of the battery size, it wasn't an issue and that didn't come as a surprise because low-end chipsets tend to win in terms of battery life endurance. It took me 1 hour and 29 minutes to charge from 0 to 100% with a standard 10 watt charger, not the one that came in the box. The camera on the Y6 Prime 2019 doesn't have a lot of the features that debuted on the older sibling and of course, no portrait mode for the front or back. However, photos taken outdoors are pretty crispy and it does spot a selfie flashlight for your nighttime selfies. It also shoots videos in 1080p. The Y6 Prime 2019 is definitely an upgrade from the Y6 Prime from last year from its processor to the design. The amber brown takes it even a step further in terms of aesthetics. Huawei has quite a few offerings with the 2019 facelift and this is somewhere in between the Y7 and Y5. 
So if you're on a budget and you want the convenience that comes with using a portable phone over the regular sized phone with good battery life and you don't plan to rock a case, the Y6 Prime 2019 is worth considering. The Huawei Y6 Prime 2019 is priced at 43,900 Naira, which converts to 120 US dollars, but you can get an even better deal because Jumia Mobile Week is starting today and ending on the 12th of May, you'd see a voucher code appear on the product image and you can use that code to buy at a discount. I'll be leaving a link in the description box for anyone who is interested. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and share it. Also follow me on Twitter and Instagram to see what I'm up to. Please subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.